Hello, my name is Jays, and today I'm going to be putting my coding skills to the test to see if I can make an entire Minecraft update in under one hour. And by that, I mean one of the shit ones. Anyhow, before we start the timer, I have a couple things that we need to set up. Because I know I don't have enough time to concept an entire mod in one hour, I'm actually going to go and steal from the Discord server. Okay, let's go. So to make life easier for myself, I kind of just ping a bunch of people in the Discord server and they'll just give me ideas. But yeah, now in conclusion, the entire Discord's ideas were terrible. And by terrible, I actually just mean too much effort. But luckily for me, Twitter always pulls through for the modding community. So we're going to go with the stuff this person suggested. So with our idea in place, we can set up the mod. And since we now have a way to load into Minecraft through IntelliJ, which is what I use to code, we can get started. Which means that the timer starts now. Three, two... One. Okay, we're good to go. So our first idea is something called the Misplaced Moose. A moose that spawns exclusively in the desert. It doesn't serve any purpose. Oh no, that would be far too useful. Instead, it occasionally makes an ear-splitting, obnoxiously loud call, and to top it all off, it drops absolutely nothing useful when killed. No meat, no leather, just disappointment. So yeah, let's get this started. Uh, cube. How, do, how does a moose look? Shit. Now while I make the model for the moose, let me describe exactly what I have to do to get this entity into the game, as it's kind of a little bit more complicated than you might think. First off, obviously, you have to make a model, texture, and animate the entity, and then export those files into your coding software. From there, you have to create a custom entity class, allowing you to program how the entity interacts with the world. It then needs a renderer to call the model to allow it to display itself. And then finally, you have to register the entity in mod model layers, mod entities, the mod's client initializer, and finally, the mod's main Java class. And that doesn't even scratch the surface of its load table, custom sounds, custom AI, feature renderers like glowing eyes, so yeah, it takes a fair bit of effort. Anyhow, while I've been talking, I've managed to waste a whole 10 minutes of making a single model with absolutely zero code, so past me might want to get cracking. No way, it's already been 10 minutes, you're shitting me. I hope you like the moose because that's what we're, <laughs> that's what we're keeping it as for now. It summoned, okay, we've got two. Holy sh**, we've got working mooses. They can walk, they can do- <laughs> This looks so bad. Right, time for feature two. So idea number two is essentially just a food item which will damage the player randomly and that the moose will follow and eat. Mod food components, that's what we need. Alright, cool. Alright, so we should be able to now load up this and in theory, so I have to give myself the cactus cake. Right, so cactus cake should work, we can eat it. Alright, hopefully that means that now I can get the mooses, the mice, the creatures to breed. Come on fellas, alright. So how do I get these guys to breed? Mm, I fucked up the code, one second. Right, so Cactus Cake works. Breed, breed, please, please make a third. Yes! It made a full adult, it just popped one out like that. That is awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm not making it so it turns into a baby. Okay, that means that we have to do the block now. Yep, that's right. The final feature is going to be a block that the moose is supposed to sleep on when it touches it. And you know what that means. Coding time. Moose nest. There, look, the block's in game. The block's working. All right, that's that's number three. That's all. Place it down. It doesn't work when I place it down. Not not the best looking piece of equipment. But look, moose nest now works. Um, I might just like have it so if it's touching this block, it just rotates at 90 degrees sideways. <laughs> So in the final minutes, I made a really valiant attempt to make sure that I could keep the challenge going and make it so the moose would rotate 90 degrees sideways while it's standing on top of its moose nest block to make it go to sleep. However, as you can see in the background, uh, it didn't really work at all. Like, not even the slightest. So yeah, I kind of I kind of didn't do it properly and it's, it didn't work. It didn't work, I'm just gonna be honest. Oh wait, the, the good, the acacia fences is working. That's, that's good. I'm glad, I'm glad that works. Technically, so within an hour. Keeping in mind that it, oh, it takes takes Mojang quite a while to make some stuff. I'll recap again. I made I made a moose nest, which is a new block you can place on the ground that looks like that. That they were supposed to be able to sleep on, but I mean technically I guess they can sleep on them, but they, it doesn't look like they're sleeping. They just they kind of just stand there. Uh, we made a cactus cake which you can eat. It's not technically made anything. It just looks like a cactus and it's a food item. And uh, you can we made this moose that doesn't walk. <laughs> Well, it does walk, but it doesn't look like it's walking. And then if you get two mooses and then feed them the cactus cake, they, they make a baby moose, but the baby's not actually a baby, it's a full grown adult. So obviously, obviously a, um, an update takes a bit longer than an hour, usually. But, we tried. Yeah, no, we, we totally, we did try, but we, we flopped, we failed. That sucked. Uh, give Mojang a bit of slack. Anyway, this video was recorded on my Twitch live, so if you want to see more challenges like this, go make sure to go follow over there. Feel free to subscribe if you want to and join the Discord. And uh, yeah, this was just a little bit of a fun video I wanted to make as a challenge, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye